Hi and welcome to my market commentary. It's really hard to believe that the first month of the year has already gone and we're into February. Pam and I had a great trip in Europe and now we're back a couple of weeks and boy did we notice some changes. Firstly we've experienced the hottest days on record here in Melbourne and then we've come back to a whammy of a changed economic environment. How do you like change? Change isn't all that popular, is it? Most of us would prefer a predictable future in terms of our job, in terms of our business and our investments. As we move into a new financial era, a time of change, unfortunately these are all subject to the whims of the market and the economy and therefore they're not as predictable as we'd like, are they? Now successful investors not only adapt to change, they exploit it. So while the majority of Australians will sit on the sidelines feeling sorry for themselves, successful investors are already out there looking for and buying investment opportunities created by the change. That's right, some people will thrive, not just survive in these difficult times. Now I'm almost finished writing my new book and that's actually the title of the book, Thriving, Not Just Surviving in Difficult Times. I'll keep you updated, it should be available in the bookshops in April and in this book I'm going to outline my golden rules of money for the new financial era which will help your fortunes grow. While this may seem difficult to believe given the amount of negative news bombarding us on a daily basis, the truth is fortunes are always made in times of change. Over the next few years the gap between the rich and the average Australian is only going to widen. And it's not because the rich will somehow be luckier than everyone else, it's because they're going to be able to weather the drastic economic storms better than most because they understand how money works. If we've learned anything from the recent economic crisis, it's that life will always provide you with challenges and obstacles to overcome. One of the biggest differences between successful investors and the average person is that successful people see such obstacles or setbacks as opportunities to grow and to learn from, rather than insurmountable problems or personal failures. They persist through them, seeing them as challenges to overcome and strengthen their conviction as they move forward. For example, I currently see the glasses half full, while now I... <coughs> back. Thanks, for example. For example, I currently see the glasses half full, while I know a lot of people see it as half empty. You see, there are some excellent property investment opportunities for long-term investors. If you've got a secure job and the ability to service a loan, and that's become much easier recently, hasn't it? Now is the time to consider buying a well-located residential investment property. Now, does that mean the markets have bottomed? My honest response is, I've got no idea, but the answer is, Probably not. But my question to you is, are we buying the market? And clearly the answer is no. What I'm recommending to you is that you consider investing in a property that you'd be happy with holding on in the long term and one that's bought sufficiently below its intrinsic value so that even if the market fell a bit further, you'd still have bought well. Now, please let me spend a couple of minutes boasting because I'm very proud of the team at Metropole and what I'm going to tell you may help you find that elusive special bargain property. In this month's issue of Your Investment Property magazine, the winners of the Reader's Choice Awards were announced and the team at Metropole won three of the seven national awards, Best Buyer's Agent, Best Property Managers and Reader's Choice Awards. In turbulent times like we're experiencing, no one can help you quite like the team of independent property investment strategists at Metropole. By the way, we help homeowners too, not just property investors. Now please remember we have no properties to sell, but we've got access to every property on the market. If you want to find out a bit more about what's happening in your local market and what our research suggests is in store for you, join us at a free property briefing we're holding those in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane and Perth. Just click on the link below this video and find out more and reserve your place. Now as I started to explain, the rules are very different today different to what they were a few years ago. You can't just buy any property and hope it's going to increase in value. You have to buy in the right location. Interesting, that old rule of location, location, location that was forgotten by many investors over the last few years and now some of them are suffering. Those who need to sell just can't un offload their secondary properties. You see there's currently many secondary properties on the market, for example on main roads or poor locations 
and these are just not selling, even though some are owned by desperate vendors who have dropped their prices. Don't be tempted, stay clear of this type of property and definitely stay clear of off the plan properties. Instead look for properties in top locations, bought considerably below their intrinsic value. In particular consider properties to which you can add value so that you can manufacture some capital growth through renovations or property development. Our real estate markets are constantly changing and they always will. Embrace change and you'll be prepared for it and to be able to profit from it. Those who ignore the changes are going to be victims of the market this year. So my view of the property markets could be summed up simply as follows. Firstly, I've got really strong positive views on the markets in most of our capital cities in the medium to long term. But number two, I'm certainly aware of the potential short term problems related to the credit crisis and our poor market sentiment, which means number three, that you should be looking for property at the right price, in the right location, and with the right rental income. Are you ready to exploit the opportunities that are going to arise? We're going to keep you updated through articles from Australian experts on our Property Update website, and you can always get the latest property news from all the media in Australia, and in fact from around the world, on the Property News page of this website. I'm also going to keep you up to date with my free webcasts. I'm going to be conducting those each month this year. And you can get the details of the first one on the events page of the Property Update website. Later this year, I'm going to be conducting my property briefings around Australia. In March and April, top selling author and property tax specialist Ed Chan and I will be conducting a round of seminars explaining our changed strategy for the coming years. Yes, I've spent time reviewing what I do and how I do it, and some of the strategies I've suggested in the past will have to be put on hold for a while. Watch out for details of my upcoming seminars where I'm going to outline these updated strategies to help you thrive, not just survive in difficult times. Now, as I have already mentioned, the team at Metropole are conducting free property briefings in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane and Perth to help investors understand their local markets and in fact the Australian property markets. So please join us at one of these. To reserve your place at one of these informative sessions, or just for more details, click on the link just below. Until then, have a great week and get ready to take advantage of the opportunity these changes are going to offer you.